Five seconds remaining. Things uh, looking okay for NIP. You'd expect Cloud9 G2A to have a slightly uh, advantageous start here with the Enigma working the jungle, but now up top we'll see Envy in a little bit of trouble. Does try to dagger away and more shrapnel raining down from the skies. This could well be your first blood. Envy on 6 HP. He goes down. It's Era with the first blood bonus gold on the sniper. Nicely done and talk about a close call. Finished him off. Oh. Super, super close. Now back on the bottom lane. Bulldog, Icarus, dive on cooldown. This will be the end of him. Another kill for NIP. It's Seal Kid that gets credit for this one. A great start for the ninjas in pajamas as they make up for that gap in the farm. We'll see more initiation on the Envy in the top lane. He'll be forced to dagger away, but we'll take a lot of damage in the meantime. Headshots from Era coming out of plenty, throwing out the shrapnel. Envy, he could go down again here, and he does. The sniper, now 2-0, and zero, the off-lane Spectre. I think you could label a bit of a disaster at this point. See Limp maybe in some trouble mid lane. Skywrath Mage rotating in. Jint Seal is there, but Dazzle will TP in and... and ...using the roll kind of stopped him, locked him in place. So now in some trouble, Jonas going to look to chase him down with the goo. Daddy's here, two points in the Malphys. Almost has the black hole, but just a little bit short. Malphys will come out. Dagger flies through as well. Uh, Jonas might want to be a little careful about how far he goes here, but Lim now coming in. Hand skin as well. There is a supernova, but there is a split if need be. They'll not focus the egg instead, just back out. Empty's already used this dagger, and it will start to expire. Supernova goes off. No stuns come through. Hand skin still hasting up. Drops the stun onto the Spectre. Now the sticky goo starting to stack up. Here come the wild axes. Softens up this dire side, but Envy in more than a bit of trouble. He'll fall for the third time this game. Now the Phoenix putting the Cyclone. No, it his dive. He's going down as well. It's NIP coming out ahead in this skirmish. Now they need to make the retreat. More TP reactions. And Jonas will be in the front lines. He's okay. Seal Kid doing so much work with that level 2 Shadow Wave. And Eris with his positioning. Very, very tanky lineup. Ogre, Bristle, Brew. Not a trio of heroes that are easy to bring down. And as bad as this early game is seemingly gone, there's still not that big a gold difference. They're going to go for a kill on Jonas here. May even commit a black hole if they feel they need to. No tell. Actually, he doesn't have the mana for it. But the Shallow Grave has already come out. Jonas on the run. He may well go down here. The Quill's doing a lot of damage. Sniper finishes off the Enigma. Jonas somehow still alive. Seal Kid doing so much sustain. He will eventually fall, but it's already a one for three. NIP have rotated their entire team. And Cloud9 do not seem like they were ready for it. Now Envy in a lot of trouble. No ultimate. Finally gets the mana for a Spectral Dagger, but it doesn't matter. They tighten the noose and make it a one for four. A triple kill for Era on the Sniper as NIP take yet another successful team fight and find a 1500 net worth game. And tip the scales and level things out maybe. Oh, the smoke gets... They get revealed from the high ground brew. He may still die. Unfortunate here. We will get silenced. Shallow Grave comes out from the Dazzle. Shadow Wave as well. They even commit a black hole for this. They'll still find the kill on Limp, but boy, do they have to commit a lot for it. They might not get off scot-free. Era looking for a kill onto Big Daddy. Won't be able to finish him off quite yet. On the run, Phoenix goes into egg form. Misery will try to chase him down, and this Arcane Bolt will be enough damage. Era without a stick, no way to heal himself up. They also get the kill on Dazzle. Wild 9 finding a great fight here. A 1 for 3 trade. They end the mega kill streak on the Sniper as well. Handskin wants to come in to join the party, but slowed up by the boar. And not going to be able to find anyone here. It doesn't look like. Unfortunate for him, also getting mana drained by the Necro units. Dyer's top tower is under well, the attack. turnaround be good use of the ages, though. For NIP, they were kind of almost back to even, and then they made things a lot closer. All Make right, Vaunt into the mid lane. Yeah. Looks like they wanted Jonas, but Handscan will be nearby. Egg comes out kind of between the two of them. BKB is used by Jonas, but he's now caught in the black hole. Does he live here? Handscan's already still alive. Jonas definitely goes down. Era raining down the shrapnels. He'll be on the run. I think he's okay here. Double cast onto the Phoenix. There we go. That'll make it a one for one, a one for two. As the primal split comes out, they'll bring down the Skywrath Mage. Big Daddy now left behind. He's speedy with those boots of travel, but not speedy enough. A less than ideal fight for Cloud9. As oh, does Era live? Yeah, he'll be okay. Necro units coming in, and oh, they will still lose the Ogre as a little bit of collateral at the end. Looks like uh, Spectre does find yet another kill, but. My, oh my. Oh, Haunt used by Envy, that reveals the smoke. The jig is up, but they're still going in onto Bulldog. He barely gets off the Supernova, but Arrow will stand his ground. They'll just try and auto-attack it down, and they'll be successful. It's a Bulldog in the grave. Now Misery on the run, scouted out by that shrapnel. Nowhere for him to go. He'll fall also. Fata in the tree line. Does have a TP scroll, not using it for now. 
And we'll just hang around to finish off this tower. Dyer's the boar will actually find the last hit. No deny comes out from the dire. Cloud nine though, they want to contest this and they'll do so. Oh, it's a whiff on the Skywrath Mage. Oh, the enemy just walks right into the pit. Ants get on the low ground to try and make some space. They'll bring down the Enigma right away. Oh, Not a good way for Cloud9 to start this fight. The Aegis though, it gets snatched by Envy. Oh, turning disastrous for NIP. They're gonna struggle to kill Envy once. Can they kill him twice? Skywrath Mage, now the next to go down. Seal Kid will grade himself as Bulldog starts to tighten the noose. Now the Beastmaster falls and they'll lose the Dazzle. Envy tries to make it out from this snatched Aegis, he's come back to life. Now they're gonna chase down Era. He's trying to kite around, but there's just nowhere for him to go. Oh, the Cyclone onto Envy. That saves Era. Now Lim just trying to get out of the burn of the Radiance. Multicast onto Envy. He's got a lot of HP, a lot of low health heroes on the dire side. This could be a disgusting cleanup, but the Delta split from NIP is too much. Envy falls for the second time. He takes one down with him for a wicked six streak, but it's the Brewmaster that ends it and gets that sweet, sweet bonus gold. What a fight around the Roche pit, but no doubt out about it. It's NIP coming out way ahead with about a 2,500 net worth gain. Ooh, that yeah. Oh my, so well done. Now Jonas in some trouble, but he will BKB as he gets initiated on. Now Big Daddy is he the one that's actually in trouble? Black Hole used on two. It'll secure the kill on the Dazzle as well as the Bristle back. A worthy hole from the Enigma will cost Dyer's him his life, but they trade one for attack. two here off the backside Dyer's of that Roche. And where's the gem? Who ends up with it? It looks like it will be recovered by Cloud9. Fata now carrying Seal Kid's gem. Sniper damage. And speaking of Sniper and his damage, he now has an MKB. Fata in the mid. Whoa! That was ambitious. Envy, he even realities in. Wow, he's in deep. That's going to be the egg from the Phoenix. Can they bring it down? No, they actually killed the Sniper. The damage from the Supernova plus the illusions from Envy are enough to end the monster kill streak on Era. What started off as a very aggressive play ends up working out okay for Cloud9. Misery will get chased down by the Bruce split. He will end up dying. That makes it a two for two. But ending that sweet streak on the Sniper may be a bit more advantageous for Cloud9. Envy was in the danger zone, but he made it out in that fight. Right. Actually picks up a double damage on Era's like, I'm going to turn and mask Manus down this egg and then the late game stage right now. We've got only a 5k net worth lead. They're going to go in on limp at bottom. They mana burn him down. He can't get off the split now. And even, I guess it's a 5 second BKB, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Nothing to lose there, but still not ideal. Envy, oh, oh, getting a little bit low, but Big Daddy's there with a hole just on Era. He'll get stunned up. Era, BKB drops away. Now Big Daddy gets turned around on. Fata wants the dazzle, but won't find it. Shallow Grave rains on his parade, and Limp deploys a buyback here. Maybe NIP thinking this is their time to strike with Cheese. However, there are both the uh, heroes with buyback available. Happened. 55 seconds till right next Roche. All right, pretty fast Roche respawn there. Whoever wins this fight will probably grab that prize gem. Now we'll see the haunt to try and initiate here onto NIP. Handskin, the one that gets left behind, but he has a Ghost Scepter. We'll use it to try and turn to fight. Seal Kid very low, gets off the shallow grave. Primal Split comes out as well. Are they going to be able to bring down the egg? It looks like they can, but Spectre's already clearing out these supports, has now killed the Sniper. Fata will get hit by the Abyssal and brought down by Jonas. It's a three for two out of the gate. Primal Split still deployed, but about to end. Big Daddy will BKB just to run away. Jonas now a so hard. buyback from the Sniper as well. This is a scary time for Cloud9. They've got a couple of buybacks here. Big Daddy will be able to blink to the high ground and live. Now Misery will get chased down by the Brew. Envy, does he die here? Oh, assassinate on the illusion! Oh no, but now the big bad bristles are coming. Drop your gem, drop your gem, drop your gem, Envy. He's oh, not gonna TP, it's on cooldown. <laughs> Oh, leaves the gem in the shop, and they don't even care. They're gonna go straight for the base. Now, Envy does have a buyback here. On His damage output is a little bit mitigated. Big Daddy charges in, drops down the Midnight Pulse, but Radiant's now Jonas BKB Abyssal just goes straight on him. Force Staff to try and make some space, but it's not enough. Sniper gets the kill. Now the buyback from Big Daddy. Envy hanging onto his buyback for now. They will get the melee barracks. Jonas Radiant's will hang around for the range, but backs out as he sees more reinforcements on the way. They do manage to force the buyback after all. Still no haunt available. Down oh, for 18. No! A whiffed black hole number two coming out from Big
Big Daddy, and that might have just secured the win for NIP. Now this fight looking rather disastrous as Fata refreshes but gets brought down. It's just Envy, the lone survivor. Him versus five to save the base, but now stuck inside of a Cyclone. He does have a Spectral Dagger. His haunt has cooled down, but he gets thunderclap. He gets crit. He is now in trouble. The Bulldog goes into the Supernova, but that egg will get cracked. Envy gets three off of that. That's, they somehow turn this fight around. That's the oh. back on Sniper. I don't know. He, Envy just pushed R, and, and magic happened, but... Still. Sniper's dead, Brew's dead, They're both, that's a dieback for both of them. They're still gonna try to go for this though. Jonas very low on eight. He has dieback though, so. Needs to be so careful here. Envy should be able to kill him, no problemo. Hanskin, you're going down as well. These this? illusions may just, yeah, they'll finish off Hanskin. I think they should. Oh, the Drizzle feels he can 1v1 attack. Envy though. With these items, Envy cannot really fight into him until he's got backup, but Skyrath has respawned. Okay. Radiance Still going tower. for this tier 3 tower, and IP sort of all in on this. Not exactly all in, perhaps, but still going in pretty they deep. They don't this lose the game, be. even if they Bristle dies back as well. They can I wait guess. out the respawns. BKB's on. He wants the melee barracks. Can he actually Radiance get Megas off this? This fallen. is risky, Parker. He's going to try to run for Radiance it. Just one strike of standing. He's definitely all going down here. Yeah, there's no running from this. That like was maybe unnecessary, name. but... Yes, but... It's not, there's not much that Cloud9 can do here. We see a line on the mini-map. Five-man mid, yeah. Go mid, boys, Dyer's that's all we've got. What attack. a chaotic fight. I still, I thought Envy was dead there for sure. I can't believe how much return damage he did. I think Bulldog came in with like a huge Supernova, Dive, Shivers Guard, Hex 1, and that was the big play. Now, here we go. Tier 3 tower in the Dyer's. bottom. There's gonna be a counter racks here. This could have been a huge mistake for NIP. They had double racks, and then they just threw Dyer's away lives. Is this actually gonna be a lane of barracks, though? They start to clean it up. Oh, no. Now the other BOT is coming. It'll definitely be one lane of Dyer's barracks. They need to not die here. Oh, these were some buybacks from uh, both Radiant's these players. Actually, Henskin will get graved, but does he actually live from this? The lasers are doing so much damage. There's another heal from Dazzle, but he can't get there in time. It's a dieback for the Ogre now. Sniper as well as the Brewmaster coming up, but they did do a good job making space. The barracks are falling Dyer's very slowly here. Barrack. Two Dyer's big cores from NIP will be up just fallen. in the nick of time. And it will be one lane of barracks and he's got double for all haunt those. now. He's also picked up a BKB, which is gonna have a oh double BKB. My. I, I don't think Cloud9 want to back off in the sense that they're going to stick around here. They're going to pretend to back off. They're going to fake back with a smoke. Nice little move here. They've got deep ward vision. So smart. Black hole just yet, but they can still look to initiate in with a roar. If they it's up now. That's what they're waiting for. Here we go. Liv, he blinks back though. Great reaction, but it's Era that gets jumped on. There's Envy with the refresher. He will have an ultimate available. Era definitely going down. He's been graved and will fall. The dazzled guys as well. Cloud9 might have actually just won this game, Parker. No buybacks available on NIP. It's Brewmaster, the lone defender in primal split form. It's about to expire. Cloud9 have actually done it in game. Game one. This was NIP's oh game to win, it, and they threw it all away with that bottom lane. NIP taking April Fool's Day a little too seriously, perhaps. That was just... Wow. That was, should not have happened. They had the two double racks, uncontested, and then... They went all in on the Mega. All in on Envy. Yeah, it was, that, it was when they had Envy Cyclone after they took the top racks. They're like, okay, Envy Cyclone, Sniper's TPing in after buying back. Let's kill Envy and win the game, but Envy didn't die. He got off the haunt. He, he was like five seconds short of the haunt, backed off thanks to Bulldog's big play engaging in mm -hmm. with the Shivers Guard and all that, and then suddenly triple kill off of just one haunt. Like, I don't know what happened there. There was just illusion, a Spectre illusions all over the place doing huge damage, and that was catastrophic. Yes.